In the United States, the financial crisis has changed the face of homelessness. Even though economic indicators are looking up, many families are still hurting. One school caters to an entire population of students who are either homeless or struggling to find permanent accommodation. North America correspondent Jane Cowan reports from San Diego. It looks like any other urban American playground, but there's nothing ordinary about this school in San Diego. On the way to work, I've seen my students with their mom coming out of the bushes with their luggage in the morning. And I'm driving and I'm like, they slept in the bushes last night. How many lines does an angle form? All 170 of the students here, most of them nine years old, are struggling with homelessness. They eat breakfast in the playground before class and can wash their clothes here. The Gore children have been coming here since their house burnt down. Well, I was kind of scared at first, kind of shy, because I didn't really think it was a real school. I thought nobody would want to be my friend and nothing. So then after that, I met them and then all of them, and then all of them met, um, were my friend. One count estimates 2,200 children in San Diego alone are affected by homelessness. The demand here is so strong, this school is about to move to a bigger location where it hopes to accommodate as many as 350 students. And regardless of an uptick in the economy, teachers here are yet to notice the benefits trickling down. Our population, so many of them are impacted by being unemployed. And if they're unemployed, the ability to maintain a residence, acquire a house, it's just beyond their means right now. Dreams, though, are harder to squash. So when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer or a judge. Amid a so far jobless recovery, a fighting chance at least. Jane Cowan, ABC News, San Diego.